In a decision that's expected to result in costlier loans for Indian borrowers, the six-member Monetary Policy Committee of the RBI, headed by Governor Urjit Patel, has hiked a key repo rate by 25 basis points, that's a quarter of a percent, to 6.25 percent. The repo rate is the rate at which the RBI lends short-term money to banks. The central bank has also increased the reverse repo rate, the rate at which the RBI borrows from commercial banks to 6 percent. The Monetary Policy Committee also kept its stance at neutral. In the RBI's estimates, GDP growth for 2018-19 is projected in the range of 7.5 to 7.6 percent in the first half of the year and 7.3 to 7.4 percent in the second half. The hike, however, came in a contrast to what was expected. It was in January 2014 that the RBI last raised the short-term lending rate or repo rate to 8 percent. Since then, it has either reduced it or maintained a status quo, indicating hardening of the interest rate scenario. Several major lenders, including SBI, PNB and ICICI Bank, have already raised their lending rates from the 1st of June. Some of the banks have also increased deposit rates. In the services sector, various high-frequency indicators suggest improving performance. Investment activity is expected to remain robust even as there has been some tightening of financing conditions in recent months. Both rural and urban consumption remains healthy and are expected to strengthen further. Accordingly, the MPC decided to retain the projection of GDP growth for 2018-19 at 7.4 percent with risks evenly balanced around this number. The MPC decided to raise the policy repo rate by 25 basis points and retain the stance of monetary policy at neutral. The committee reiterated its commitment to keep inflation at the target of 4 percent in the medium term and to remain vigilant on how actual inflation unfolds. Sumit so Chaturvedi now joining us from the Beyond Newsroom. So, but, so we can expect that you and me will be paying more on the loans that we take? Absolutely, Amitabh, and maybe even higher because this time it, it looks that uh, banks are in mood to raise interest rates quite high. One of, uh, reason is economy doing very well. There are jobs, if not new, but existing jobs are there. there uh, uh, you know, the, uh, we can say that because of the overall macro picture being okay. It looks like the banks are in a mood to maybe pass on the higher interest rates to all customers and maybe the, from 0.25% it can go by 0.25% more which is 0.5%. So we all should be ready to pay higher interest rates on our loans which this typically happens happens when economy is doing well and generally on the, on the contrary when the economy is not doing well banks on the other hand cut interest rates and give more money into the hands of people. Here it's happening contrary because today also RBI said that GDP forecast is 7.4 percent only for this current financial year and monsoon is on target and there are no big uh, we can say the concerns hovering over the economy except crude prices. So keeping all that in mind uh, we all will have to pay more than what we are expecting definitely on our uh, housing loan, car loans and all other consumer durable loans. But on the other hand, uh, what's the outlook for inflation, for price rise? Has that stabilized? Well, it, it looks like that it has stabilized, but there's a hockey, hawkish tone there as well. And a lot of things will also depend now on monsoon only, because if there's good rain, definitely there, the produce of the farmers will be good, and then the prices of uh, essential commodities will come down. But that's still to be seen in the near term. In the long term, it looks like inflation has stabilized, which is hovering around the target of 4% as set up by RBI. Sumit so, Chaturvedi, thanks for that update.